What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video here on the Sergeant Tank YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, do me a favor right now, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, put on post notifications for any future updates. With that being said, let's go ahead and get to the video. Alright you guys, so we are back. I'm going to be showing you how of is culturing of vinegar eels. So the essential things that you're going to need. Uh, I picked this up at Gordon Foods. This is going to be um, apple cider vinegar. Uh, comes in a uh, one gallon. Uh, it's going to be the most uh, cost effective I find. Uh, you might be able to pick it up at other retailers and so forth. But and then I have a jar here that you're also going to need. And um, I have my shipment an order of uh, vinegar eels uh, which I have not opened yet and then I got a couple of different things here I've already cycled and uh, seasoned uh, aquarium water and uh, either some scissors or a knife um, then of course one of the most important things that you're gonna need just because uh, in everybody's fish room is gonna be the sergeant tank hand towel so you can definitely check that out and other swag and amazing dry goods and livestock right down in the description below at www.sergeanttank.com so with that being said you guys let's go ahead get this camera set up and let's get to this how to project for today all right you guys and welcome back so we're going to go ahead and take a closer look here vinegar eels so of course you're going to want to obtain through a reputable source um and then i just have some other basic essentials here uh, that you can see a funnel. I do have this bottle here, which uh, is just uh, it's a form of sparkling lemonade, and uh, I like it because it's clear. You got a one gallon thing here through Gordon Food Service of your apple cider vinegar, which I find dollar per dollar it's the best savings overall. And I have already cycled and seasoned uh, aquarium water here. First thing I'm going to do is take my clear bottle along with a funnel. Go ahead and set that in there. I'm gonna mix this up just a little bit, just to ensure that any sediments that might be in the bottom of this, um, there shouldn't be too much, but not go too crazy. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and open this up and then carefully pour halfway with the apple cider vinegar. So right there is good. We're gonna go ahead, recap that, set that off to the side. And now I'm gonna take this one here and I'm gonna go ahead and add this aquarium water, cycle aquarium water up to where, right about there. We got three different vacuum sealed bags uh, so one, two, three orders. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a quick, closer look here. Let me grab my light and ensure that they are live and active. Yeah, the lighting just isn't the greatest. But I can promise you, every one of them is live and active. All right, you guys, so <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and chop up this apple. So what I'm going to do is actually just cut the, the ends off. Go ahead, discard those. Um, go ahead and split it down the middle. Um, I don't want to add the core or anything like that, so we'll go ahead and uh, remove the core. What I'm gonna do is actually cut this up into thirds. So about one inch pieces. We're gonna go ahead and add this now. And again, this is the food source, vinegar eels. I'm gonna go ahead and cut open just a small corner here going to do is go ahead and add these eels into the bottle so I'm going to use my last container here I'm going to go back and utilize this time because this would be my secondary culture and then we're going to add this is cycled uh, aquarium water and add the rest of these apple slices again the skins are on here because these are going to be sitting for longer so i don't really care too much 
same thing, clean cut along uh, the corner. Go ahead and dump in all the remaining vinegar eels. Instead of recapping, because I want oxygen flow to be able to get as far as oxygen exchange, because you don't want to deplete the oxygen and suffocate them. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. You can see the last of the contents that I'm gonna have here is I got my rubber bands that I use for uh, shipping a livestock and then um, I have some regular 100% polyester batting. Take a portion but yay big. Essentially what I'm doing here is making just a do-it-yourself, simple little um, uh, filter floss cork. And uh, I'll show you why here in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut it about there. I just wrapped it around a few times. Um, just carefully go ahead and tie it off. And then what I'm gonna do is carefully plunge this guy down in there the um, I got enough as far as oxygen exchange and then as well up here and that will allow for uh, continuous oxygen exchange between what's in the bottle um, and then that's it and uh, yeah so obviously this little method here just carefully uh, remove like so all right you guys so let's go ahead and wrap this uh, last one up here uh, I'm gonna do the exact same thing uh, as I just showed with a smaller one, um, use some of this 100% uh, acrylic yarn that I use for spawning mops. Tie this over, knot it up a couple of times. I actually got a little wet too. Um, and uh, go ahead, plug that up like so. And uh, that's it, you guys. Um, so no rubber band or anything on this specific one. I'm just going to be a little extra careful, obviously. Um, keep this, you know, in a safe place. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead, get everything cleaned up here. I'll bring you guys updates here in a couple of weeks. All right, you guys. So with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed that uh, video. Let me know in the comment section what else you would like to see in the future. Uh, make sure, again, you smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and like and share. With that being said, you guys always stay encouraged. Keep on keeping on happy fishing, and we'll talk to you guys right back here on the next one.